An adorable baby girl was born to Gorilla Imani on March 12, 2014, at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Due to complications during Imani's labor, an emergency C-section was needed, and her baby required extra care from our medical staff those first few days. She's eight days old today, and she's no longer receiving oxygen therapy or the high flow therapy to keep her airways open. She no longer has an intravenous catheter. Uh, her course of antibiotics is completed. She's a normal, healthy baby at this point. As the baby got stronger, we were able to start feeding her bottles of an infant formula, which she eagerly gulped down. Meanwhile, Amani had been returned to the Safari Park's Gorilla House, where she quickly recovered from her surgery in more familiar surroundings. The mom is doing wonderful. Within about 12 hours after surgery, she was up acting like nothing ever happened. She hasn't missed a, any of her food or her juice drinks that the keepers are able to offer her. At this point in time, she's doing great. After 11 days, the baby was healthy enough to travel from our veterinary hospital to the Gorilla House to meet her mother for the first time. It was important for Amani to see her baby, and for the baby to see her mother and the other gorillas. Since the visual introductions went so well, the next step was to give Amani a chance to hold her daughter. The very next day, the baby was carefully placed on a soft pile of hay in Amani's bedroom, and then Amani was let in. We were thrilled to see Amani sniff her baby and then pick her up, carrying and cradling her around the bedroom area. Amani even let the baby cling and hold onto her back as she walked around. The other gorillas were able to watch through a protective mesh barrier during this important introduction. Initially, she was just carrying the baby. She never set the baby down, which is really what we were looking for. And about three hours in, she began nursing the baby. And then after about a five minute nursing bout, the baby fell asleep, which is exactly what we were looking for. So we're really excited. Mother and daughter were closely monitored the rest of the day and night just to make sure the baby was nursing and being cared for properly by first-time mother Amani. The pair did great, no worries. After much anticipated wait, the next day was a big one. The baby girl and her mother were given access to the outdoor exhibit for the first time. Amani walked into the exhibit while cradling her baby, with a curious five-year-old Frank following closely. After foraging and eating some greens, Amani found a warm alcove and settled down to comfortably nurse her baby. The other five gorillas soon joined the new family outside, with the baby's father, Winston, keeping Frank and two-year-old Monroe under constant supervision. They were all mildly curious about the baby, but were willing to let Imani enjoy private time with her infant. We are so pleased that our newest gorilla has recovered from her shaky start and is being cared for so lovingly by her mother while supported by the rest of our gorilla troop. She can now grow up to be the gorilla she was born to be.